Hello. Be quiet now, okay, kiddos? <laughs> I told them that they could stay up from their nap just a little bit longer if they could quietly color. Um, but hi, how are you guys today? Um, I wanted to hop on because I realized that um, whether it be in person or whether it be via text message or even on the Facebook groups, I get the question a lot, what do you do when you all are sick? And uh, it seems like everywhere I go, every errand I'm running, whether I'm picking up the kids at school, everybody's talking about the poor family that's battling the flu or strep or sinus congestion and ear infections and it's just that time of year where the doctor's offices are full and um, so I figure this is a little bit in my like it outside of my comfort zone because um, I want to disclaimer really quickly um, I am planning to share with you exactly what we do um, in our home when somebody gets sick uh, but I want you to know a couple things first first these are pure essential oils that we have felt comfortable with um, on our skin, topically diluted, safely for years. Uh, I feel comfortable with the oils I'm using. Um, this also comes from a couple different sources. So some of the stuff we do, I've read about and I've researched. Some of the stuff we do, um, I've just learned over time. And I'll explain that one a little bit more to you. And then some of the stuff is what my mom did so I do it and then fourthly some of the stuff is just because my OCD requires me to clean things when somebody's sick so um, know that that none of this has to be a tried and true process um, for your family because I believe that all individuals are different and so I'm gonna share with you guys what I do um, feel free to comment uh, what what it is that you guys do when somebody gets sick so a um, couple things first of all uh, I believe that um, for us in particular we have stayed so healthy these past years because we do a lot of prevention stuff a lot of the food we eat um, a lot of the vitamins my kids take um, probiotics uh, these are things that I believe have helped boost our immune system from where we were and um, so another part to that story and then I promise you I'll jump right into the actual what we do um, another part is that if you guys have ever heard my oil story I originally uh, impulse purchased my first kit of essential oils because we were stuck in a cycle of constantly being sick so my heart breaks for those families that um, catch something and they can't leave the home for two weeks because it's got to get through all of them or they feel so sick that um, that you know they're just desperate for anything that's going to help relieve that or they're insecure because they have to go to the doctor and they're worried they might get uh, another bug while they're there or how they're going to pay for it or you're going to miss work who's going to miss work today to stay home with the sick kids and so I my heart just aches for that cycle and so four years ago um, we we were in that and um, and now I can say we still get sick okay don't hear me say we don't catch stuff we do but um, in the last this is going on four cold and flu seasons um, we haven't been sick for longer than a six hour period of time and stuff doesn't cycle the way that it used to uh, so on that note let me share with you what we do all right you guys have heard of the immunity bomb right I've put this recipe up a dozen times um, we whip this one up for prevention as well as as soon as stuff onsets. So what's in this is oregano and lemon and on guard and melaleuca. Now, why are those in there? Oregano and melaleuca work really, really well on antibiotic resistant crud. And uh, lemon is purifying. It's really good for cleaning out whatever's toxic, toxic and helping your body get rid of free radicals that are being produced as it supports your immune system. Um, and then the on guard is is also very purifying and it actually prevents viruses and bacteria from replicating which is really cool and the science behind that's so neat so this is an awesome blend um, my kids actually get in bed at night they stick their feet up in the air and I roll them and they slip their socks over it and um, so we've been doing that because we know that it's real deep in our school right now um, that's the immunity roller now what about when somebody actually gets sick 
So say somebody comes home and they're either throwing up, they've got the fever, they start complaining that their tummy aches, what if um, they're burning up, what do you do? Well, what I do first is I quarantine that kid to the couch and I use this immunity roller on that child's feet every 15 minutes, especially if they're vomiting. I will put it on every 15 minutes and I do that until they fall asleep. And while they're asleep, I keep monitoring, of course, the temperature and things, but I think that that sleep is healing. If you can help them rest well, that's huge. So I do this every 15 minutes. If you feel more comfortable doing it every hour, every two hours, my feeling is that if I do a circle on one foot and I rub the two feet together, they're not even getting a full drop of any essential oil in that application. So we know that with oils, less is more and more often. So that's why I just get their feet as often as I'm passing by them. I try to get them drinking water. Now, if they're throwing up, I don't do that. If they're throwing up, out comes um, the digest send. Now, you can even see the little roller <laughs> is ragged. This is actually my two-year-old Susanna's tummy oil. She's allowed to go grab this whenever she wants. It has diluted digest send in it. So this is the digest send touch that doTERRA sells, but I just keep popping the cap off and remixing it myself. Um, on my bigger kids, I will drip a drop of the the Pure Digest Zen directly on or right near the belly button and I'll cover that in, in coconut oil so that it's diluted right there on the tummy. And again, I do this um, every 15 minutes if they're actively sick until that calms and they can rest. Um, so the, the immunity bomb goes on the feet and the Digest Zen goes on the, on the tummy until the, the throw up goes. Now, okay, so just side note real quick because I have one kid in my head as I tell you that story. Have you noticed that individuals have a susceptibility to different things? Um, the reason I ask that is that my son, my six-year-old, he's our stomach bug man. He will catch a stomach bug. Um, and so he's the one that I'm always using that on, the roller on the feet, the digest scent on the belly until he can stop. Because if we can get him through that, can't keep anything down and let him rest for a little bit, I keep putting the oils on every hour or two hours. You'll see him pop up. He's running around like a banshee asking for food um, three hours later. So, so he's the stomach bug guy. My daughter, on the other hand, my older daughter, my eight-year-old, she has a susceptibility to strep throat, right? So she's my kid who gets the strep throat. So when that happens, honestly, I don't even know whether she gets strep throat because I try to start these immune boosting things so quickly that, um, that my hope is that if they get better and we beat it, that they won't have to do the, the germy doctor's visit. But, um, but last year, I do know my daughter had strep. We did the antibiotic. Guess what? Two weeks later, she was showing the exact same symptoms. And I just knew, I knew that that antibiotic hadn't been strong enough to knock it out. So again, never hear me say I'm against conventional medicine. Please go to your doctor um, as you feel comfortable. But I didn't feel comfortable anymore. I didn't feel like another antibiotic was gonna do it. So I talked to my husband. And again, we did the immunity roller, but this time I actually diluted it further in regular coconut oil and I slathered it all over her neck and the back of her neck and the top of her shoulders. And I did that um, five to eight times that first day. Within 24 hours, she was acting better and the fever was gone. Um, but because I was concerned it was strep, I um, continued doing the immunity bomb on her feet twice a day for another 10 days. I was not about to let this get us again and she didn't catch strep again. Um, on, an, on another note, if, you, if you're on the antibiotic, and I wish I had done this the first time, if you're on the antibiotic for strep throat, you can do this immunity blend at the same time. They're not going to counteract one another because they behave completely differently in your body. So even if you're doing the antibiotic for the strep throat or whatever it is, um, Go ahead and keep using this immunity bomb, I would say three times a day for at least three days, and then another once or twice a day for the remainder of the antibiotic cycle. 
Um, you can even do it beyond that if you feel like their immune system needs a boost. Um, if you're doing an antibiotic, I also highly recommend a probiotic. So we have probiotics on hand. I love doTERRA's. I didn't grab the box. It's called PB Assist Junior. They taste like pixie sticks. <laughs> so um, if we're in a cycle of feeling sick, I let the kids have their probiotic once a day through that. And I would definitely do that for a full month. Um, if you were taking an antibiotic or if your kid was taking an antibiotic. For myself, I get a Garden of Life refrigerated one, but I like doTERRA's too. So, you know, just get what you can get your hands on in terms of probiotics. All right, second thing, if it's my husband or I, I have the susceptibility to sinus and ear infections. So for me, it always starts as a, th a sore throat that radiates up into my ears. And so um, what I do is I do a lot of these on guard throat lozenges and, um, and I, I'm hooked on them. Um, but do what makes your throat feel good, something that's gonna be really good sitting on your throat. If you don't like cough drops, um, you can get your on guard oil, get a little teaspoon of honey. Just put a drop of that on guard on the honey or, um, or stir the honey in a tea and take the on guard in a little shot of water and then, um, and then drink that tea, sip on that tea after that so that that on guard's coating your throat. Um, I know on guard doesn't taste awesome to some of us. I don't mind it. It's got like a cinnamon orange kind of flavor to it. You can get empty veggie caps. All right, so have you guys seen these before? And you can take your on guard that way. However, if it's a throat thing for me, I've got to have the on guard in my mouth and in my throat. And honestly, it's 30 seconds. I can feel that relief. Um, if I know my ears are really infected or if I feel like it's a throat sinus infection, I will do the immunity bomb in a shot of water. So I actually do this quite often because it's, it's intense, but it works. So what again is that immunity blend? I put a drop of oregano. If you let two fall in there, you'll know the difference. So I put a drop of oregano. I put a drop of my On Guard. I put a drop of my lemon and I put a drop of my Melaleuca in a tiny shot of water. I make sure I'm not gonna hit my lips cause that really burns. And I get that in my mouth and I swallow. And I'm telling you, it's, it's beautiful. I wasn't diagnosed with strep throat the first time I tried that. Um, because when I did go into the doctor, it, it, the culture came back negative, but I'm convinced it's because I had been doing the oils and I knocked it out already. So again, that's theory. I don't have a doctor's, you know, stamp on that one, but, um, taking that in a shot of water as an adult is fine. The safety levels for adults is, um, two to four drops of oil every two to four hours. So what I would do if I had an acute throat or ear issue like that, um, running a fever, I mean, I'm talking sick, right? I do that immunity bomb either in a cap, um, if it's my tummy or a flu or something like symptoms, um, or I do it in a shot of water if I really want it on my throat. So as an adult, my husband and I do that. And, and so what I would do is I would do it at least three times the first day um, and then I would do it another three to five times the next day if you're feeling worse, not better. And then as soon as you feel, as you start to feel, I'm, I'm, I'm going to get past this. I'm going to get through this. That's when I drop to twice a day. And I try to continue that for at least another five to seven days to make sure that, that we've knocked out whatever bug that was. The beautiful thing about oils is that they're not only effective against bacteria, they're also effective against viral threats. And so we know that antibiotics aren't able to touch that. And so that's why I'm grateful that oregano and On Guard in particular are so effective against such a wide range of bugs. Okay, so that's the oils part of it. What else do we do? I've quarantined the kid to the couch, right? Um, if they've got a tummy bug, I don't offer them anything, nothing at all. I just try to get oils on them until they can rest and stop feeling so upset. 
Um, if they start asking for food, I usually give them something very small, um, either a little cup of, we make water kefir, um, and see if they can keep that down for an hour before I let them eat any food. And if we do food, it's this is what my mom always did. It was peanut butter toast. That's always felt really tame to my tummy, but whatever your comfort, safe, um, very, um, very bland food. A banana, banana's a good easy one to grab um, for that first food. And then um, continue to let them rest. And as soon as you can get fluids in them, the better. All right, what do you do for a fever? If we're running a fever, peppermint is the one you want to grab. So peppermint works really well at bringing the body temperature down. Now again, some of you might feel uncomfortable with this and I'm just gonna echo over and over again, don't do something you feel really uncomfortable with. Get comfortable first or just don't try it. Um, but I am no longer afraid of a low grade fever. I'm not running to my Tylenol Motrin the way I used to. So um, I feel my personal comfort level is that any fever under 102, 102.5 I'm not that afraid of, of a fever of that nature. Now, you can tell they clearly feel sick, and if you're desperate for sleep, go grab the Tylenol and Motrin and let everybody rest. But um, peppermint diluted on the back of the neck and or all the way down the spine can bring down the body temperature almost a full degree. So if we start to creep over 102, then I grab that peppermint and I slather their neck and back, and I do this on myself too, and I tell you what, it feels so good. Um, if the fever is getting more extreme and you're really getting nervous, put that baby or yourself in a tepid bath with that peppermint on the back. And um, you have to stay in the bath for at least 20 minutes for it to really affect your body temperature. But once that kid is able to get out of that, out of that bathtub, check their temperature, and see if it has stayed down. So um, I, I would just say your immune system is gonna get stronger and stronger if you let yourself and your kids have low grade fevers. Um, and that is a research thing, not, not a crazy OCD thing that I made up. Um, so peppermint is our go-to for fevers. Peppermint is also fantastic for the nausea. It's fantastic for any headaches head tension or neck muscle pain. So this is a win-win all around getting that peppermint on um, your babies. Um, another question I get, do you do all these things at once? <laughs> yes, actually I do. I pull out the peppermint, I put um, the on guard on the feet, I put the digest in on their tummy if they're, if they're sick, throwing up. Sometimes I've been known to grab my diluted breathe and put a little breathe there if it's a cough or major congestion thing. Um, but again, remember, less is more, more often. So if you put the immunity bomb on, wait, wait a little while before you put the breathe on their chest and the digest in on their tummy. Um, just know your kids. Please know your kids. Pay attention to them. Because if they start to look agitated after you've applied an oil, you might have done a little too much and you just need to give them some time to metabolize it. Um, okay, what else? Uh, congestion, right? Breathe, cough, breathe. This is a good one to have diffusing. Um, I know people who diffuse both the breathe and the on guard, right? We don't want everybody else in the house to get this. So I have breathe running by the bed of my coughing individual if it's respiratory. And this is really great at opening airways. Um, it's not so awesome at like opening loose, stuck congestion. Ironically, Digestin breaks up mucus. So touch that Digestin to your forehead. Um, I wouldn't do that on my kids. Touch that Digestin maybe to the back of their neck and it'll help open their airways um, if it's a stuck mucus thing. But diffusing the breathe nearby is really powerful, especially on sweet babies who can't sleep when they can't breathe through their nose. So this is one I like to either put a drop on their pillowcase, put a drop diluted on the chest, apply on the feet, um, or diffuse, not, not all of those above. Usually I put it on topically and diffuse nearby, but um, you do what you're comfortable with. So breathe is also a good one. Um, what if, like me, whenever I start to get a viral thing, it turns into a migraine? What if you start experiencing extreme headaches or pain, nerve pain, because of the virus that you're fighting? Um, in that case, 
grab your frankincense. A drop of this frankincense under the tongue is highly anti-inflammatory directly to the brain and spine. So this one's a good one to have out through the whole process, but I never forget it if I'm dealing with a headache or something that's turning into a, to a big painful deal. And so you can actually add this to your little veggie cap that you made um, to help with the pain, uh, or you can apply it topically right on site, on the head if it's your head, drop it under the tongue. This one doesn't taste too bad. It's kind of, I don't know, bitter maybe is a good way to describe it, but it's really not bad and it works, it works beautifully. Frankincense is so nice. Kids too, if you're extra nervous about the fever in particular, Remember we talked about the peppermint on the brain, on the um, back of the neck and down the spine diluted? Add frankincense to that. It's gonna boost that um, peppermint's ability to draw that fever and allow your baby to fight that, um, that bug a lot more effectively. So frankincense is also our go-to. Okay, now what about other things we do? <laughs> as soon as a kid gets sick, I don't want everybody else to catch it. So what I do is I don't go overboard, but I put the immunity bomb on all of the other kids twice a day until my child that's sick is better and I feel like it's been at least two or three days and nobody else is showing symptoms. So this immunity bomb, I'm telling you, we go through quite a few of these um, during this time of year. Um, what else do I do? I also have my kids eating really well. I cut out all sugar. Uh, I don't, did you know, that uh, sugar compromises your immune system for over six hours. If your kids eat a huge, sweet, something incredibly sugary, their immune system is now dealing with metabolizing that sugar and not dealing with protecting their bodies. So if one kid's sick, sugar goes immediately. Um, I also strip that kid's sheets and I wash them in hot water and, um, and I start diffusing On Guard through the house. So On Guard is the one that is so great at killing germs, both airborne and on surfaces. So I have that On Guard diffusing so that it doesn't spread. Um, I also use On Guard in a cleaner. I don't typically clean with On Guard because lemon and melaleuca are um, less expensive, but I make a little half white vinegar, half water, and then about five to seven drops of On Guard, and I will clean surfaces or any spot where, you know, the upchuck has hit. Um, that always gets the On Guard. And sometimes some baking soda and lemon and melaleuca to get the smell out because I'm not interested in that in my house. <laughs> so, so that's the cleaning cycle. I wash the bed. Um, I make all the other kids bathe, right? I have them bathe and their clothes go immediately in the laundry. Um, and then I usually wash the bed again of the sick baby after they're better. So I usually wash their bed twice um, through that. And again, that's probably just me being OCD, but I mean, why not? They spend a lot of hours in that bed sleeping. So I figure that's the thing I can target that their faces are up against. Um, what else do we do? Um, my husband and I make sure that we rest. We don't stay up late. If, I have, if we have a sick baby, there's a good chance they're gonna wake me, not him. They're gonna wake me up in the night. And so um, I know that I have to stay well so that, um, so that I can help them. And for that to happen, I've gotta be going to bed on time and I've gotta be sleeping. So sometimes I'll sleep on the floor next to my sick baby. Um, if they're little, I'll sleep with them. I'm not afraid. And I, honestly, I don't catch stuff from them once I've got the on guard in my own system. So I will cuddle right up to a feverish baby on my chest because I can feel if that fever spikes, even in my sleep, it'll wake me up. And I know to either get more peppermint and immunity balm on them. Um, and that's what we do. So we just keep doing it. And, um, and I tell you what, it is so freeing. It's so freeing to watch my kids get sick and not feel terrified. It's so freeing to watch my kids get sick and know that they have me 100% taking care of them, um, loving on them, holding them, and they're not miserable for longer than 12 to 24 hours. And so um, 
as much as I require a lot of extra sleep after that, uh, I, I wouldn't trade it for anything. And um, the prevention me measures, I believe, have really protected us from um, cycling through these things and extending that by weeks and weeks and weeks on end. So um, that's what we do. My hope is that if you guys have any questions at all, um, that you would post them. Anything that I, that I missed, there's all kinds of other stuff, right, that you can do to boost the immune system. Vitamin C is great. Um, elderberry syrup is great. All of these things are so good. Um, my, my problem when I went into the homeopathic world was that if I had a kid who was vomiting, I couldn't keep any of those things down in their system. I couldn't keep the elderberry syrup in them. I couldn't keep the activated charcoal in them. And I tell you what, activated charcoal throw up is not okay. <laughs> it's black. Um, so I, while I'm not against homeopathics, I love that with oils, I can put it on the surface of their belly if I know they're not gonna be able to keep it down. And then I can battle things like keeping just basic water in them so that they stay hydrated instead of worrying about trying to keep a medicine down down their, their belly. Does that make sense? I, I, I don't know. That was just the route I went. Um, one last thing. I love Digest Tabs. Um, my husband and I grab these a lot too. It's just a drop of the Digest N, the tummy stuff. Um, if I'm around a kid who's throwing up, I usually feel nauseated even if I'm not sick. Um, so I usually grab these little tabs. They're just a lot more user friendly than trying to drink the Digest N. Um, so that's one thing I wanted to show you. Um, and lastly, again, I'll go back to, I got into oils for the immune benefits, for the immune support. And every single oil I've mentioned, um, On Guard, Melaleuca, Lemon, Frankincense, uh, Oregano, Peppermint, Breathe, Lavender, every one of these is in doTERRA's two basic enrollment kits. The Family Essentials Kit, that's $150, it's smaller bottles, but it's all these good guys. The Home Essentials Kit, you get the good sized ones, um, and so that's the much, much better value, but it's the good oils that you need if you're in an immune system um, crash. <laughs> so, um, Ask me if uh, you want more information about that. There's all kind of promotions for those. Um, and, and then ask me any other questions if I forgot something about our process. I would love for you all to feel free from fear this buggy season um, because I want your families to stay well. And when you catch something, I want you to feel like alongside the medical stuff, you have an option to, to boost that. Um, or things to try at home before you can get to the doctor, get that doctor's appointment on the calendar. So thank you for your time. Post all the questions you have, and, um, and I'd, love, I'd love to read those. Have a wonderful day. Bye.